Hi, hello. So here we are. I have already make these other trick knots. Fortunately, I found more rope. You know how they say, the house of a knotter, there are always rope everywhere. And I was looking and looking and looking and finally I found more and it is exactly the same rope. It was a great luck actually. But here we are. So in order to make to make this distance between this knot and this knot, I use these three, these two with these three loops. So in here we insert one more line so we have space one loop two loops three loops and space and that is exactly what I have made in here so space because it is the the place where we insert the other rope and then one two three loops and then space and then again one two three loops and then space and in the space the rope one two three and the rope i've made already the flower knots so the flower square knots have a good effect i'm going to make them all to the same side because there is no middle if you take a good look in here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and six does not give a middle. If it was seven, and an uneven number, then we have a perfect center. Now, even in the other row, the second row, we don't have a center because these two go to this, and in the third row, it seems a center, but actually it is not a center. If you take a good look, the center of this knot is not the exact center it's not is the, the exact center because the center should be from this this hole and this hole and in here so the center should be passing right here and as you can see there is no no knot so the only solution that one can do when one has no center is to make the entire the entire work to the same side because to the same side we don't need a center this one here All right. so I have left this place and I'm going to make an exemplification of how how to make the joining of another rope so in here we have the same in this the counting is a little more difficult because we have one loop two loops and three loops and this loop is under this one but then we have the space it is more or less it is not so exact as in the other part but if we put it here it is too close and if we put it here it is too far so we don't have other choice to open it in here and there is some one or two millimeters of difference that in macrame with this size this is a large size rope it doesn't really take or make any difference I mean the difference is there but is imperceptible so that's how we put it and now we take another line in the middle the other video was not exactly clear how one does this so one take a loop put it in the back put this one over the other one under 
and uh, these two of course now we just pull it well and now we put this one again over and and here we have a square knot if you take a look at this square knot this square knot has here a loop now this loop is not on any other square knot that it is made in a normal and usual fabric it has this one because this is from nothing okay but anyway it is not important so here we have and now it is a good idea to make immediately the other knot so this can stay the more in place possible. So making the flower square knot and here we have it. It's a good idea also to pull this quite well. Now under these two we do the same movement as for making a square knot. The only difference is that we don't catch these two in the middle. Now we pull it again a little. Now the third, this is with three half knots. So this knot is with three half knots. And then here it is. All right. And this should be enough for us to have a perfect fabric. In here we can make already these ones because this will give a special parallel strength to this so we can put this in the proper place. And actually that place is given by these knots. These knots are going to make the other knots to go up and to accommodate themselves. They all accommodate themselves in, in the fabric. So here we have it. Now the third half knot. And here we have our flower square knot. Now I could make it already in here. But I don't think I have time in the video, so I'm going to make the other. So, space, one, two, three, and space. In the space, be careful, never put the finger in the direction, always in the side, because this is uh, dangerous. This is a feed, and the feed is always dangerous. So here you have the hole. <laughs> Sometimes it happens that this will close. It happens all the time. So, just pull it. Now we take the two ends, we put them together, and we just pass. To see, you see how much there is a loop here. And then we pull it until it is all together. And in the same, in the same sizes so the two in the same sizes just confirm and then the other one two three and you see i take off the finger from the the front of that one here we go And that's it. I'm going to finish the video because this is all the same. And 
when I have it. When I have it all, I will come back for us to see this important part. And this important part is the turning of this. This has to be perfectly turned in a square square. So this is 90 degrees. So this is important. I can make it already. So we have to see the place. Probably you see this is exactly in the same place of, of this all. So we have this all. And we are going to see if this all, this does not have does not have the tape so we have to put the tape so putting the tape is like this you just put it the tape like this and then you put it and now with this part this part of the finger you just do like that so we have a point. Now usually this point is made with the second tape. Because one tape is usually not enough. So this time we have a small a small tape put it like this in a diagonal put this one now take a good look at this part this part is going to make it to stay up you see and here we have a perfect a perfect point of course with the working this will undo itself but it works anyway so we are going to insert Sometimes we need to pull it. Uh -huh. No, let's find it out. And here we have to be very careful with these turns, you see. These turns, they are really... We have to unturn them. You see, I am unturning these turns. Even we can pull it back. So we could take out this, you see, now it is plain without those turns. Those turns are, are very bad. Now, just pull it well. Now, and here it is. Here it is. So it's perfect. Now from here, we work it exactly as it was. It was from here, from these two, exactly, exactly the same. So the pulling here is very important. Cannot be too much and cannot be too little. So let's make the knot. Now here we can change this because this has a big hole there. So change it. And we are going to do a flower knot in here. It's important particularly to pull this one so this will be extremely tight. Okay. Mm -hmm. ah, I was doing wrong. Mm 
I'll pull it again. Pull it again. And now the third So here we have our our perfect knot. And it seems that the curve is perfect. Now this one is the test the testing. This is too much big, much bigger than that. I don't know exactly why. But now we have to, to see if this accommodates itself in here. So making again the same. Pull it very well. I have untwisted it. You noticed it wasn't it was twisted there. Now hander. Pull it pull it in again. So this will stay the more geometrical as possible. And here we have our knot. Now let's let's see how good it is. Well seems perfect. Not one hundred percent perfect. Let me see. You see this one? It's making an up effect. And it's too much close to this one. If you take a good look this one with this one, it doesn't it's not the same as this one with this one. But well a curve is always a curve, it's not so easy. It's not so easy. Now in here we have to be extremely careful where this comes. Actually you see it, right? It is perfectly in the direction of another hole. So if it is in the same direction, be careful with your finger. Now you see I took out the finger from the the place. I see the the tape is already unturning, but we turn it again, and here it is perfect. Now we insert it again. We pull it. Now I am un untwisting. You saw I have untwisted so. And still twisted. It is still twisted. Aha! You see, I am untwisting. This is very important because if if, if it stays twisted, then there is all, all always a strange effect. And then it's just to do the same. It's just to do the same in here. So I'll change it again. So we must do it always the same. If we do it like this, we have to do it always like this till the end. Now the ender. Now the third one. The third one. And that's it. Here there is always I cannot pull it this one. You saw this one this one brings this one. So this one is this one. This one was too much pulled, I believe. This one, has, I think it's better. If we pull it too much, then you see, is making a curve, an inside curve. You see it here clearly. So I have to actually not pulling so much. You see it now, right? I have undone, 
this and this is done because of this pulling if I pull it too much this one was very much pulled but this one was the curve and the curve makes many force now there is still something here you can see it I'm not very happy about it there is here still a curve be careful with this feet thing all right, now seems perfect. And if you want to see it, you see, it is bigger. So this one has to stay bigger, a little bigger. Pull it a little, because there is a tendency here to make the curve. Perhaps this one was too much pulled. Yes, there is here a small defect. There is a small defect here. Of course it is not much, but it is here. It, this curve is not perfect actually. Well, it's not perfect. I'm not happy. Not happy with this curve. I don't know exactly why, but you see it, right? I wonder if this was not well put in here. Mm-hmm. Well, anyone can say, well, it's not important. Well, yes and no. Of course, I can make a continuation. I'm going to make this knot here. So, to, to see the stability of the fabric. Because this knot will pull the fabric. Understand? And the pulling of the fabric is extremely important for the final effect. And if it is not well, if I'm not happy, if, if I'm not really happy, I will have to undo it and then make it another time. I mean another video, not in this video. I'm going to close the video and if I'm not happy, I will undo it. Let me see it. Now the moment of truth, because these two I can even make this one just to see how, how stable this is. Because it's these knots that are going to give the proper form. And we have to see if that, that curve will stand or if it disappears. If it stands, it is not well made. Now, I know that you have already noticed that these videos are not like the other videos. This video is the real macrame thing. And the real macrame thing is this. Problems come. And if we, uh, if we don't have an eye for these things, we will never see it. You see it, there is here a down, so this does not come exactly like this. This does not come like this. You see? There is here a down. Take a good look. Take a good look. You see it? So there is here a down. That is why this is not well. Actually, this comes in a curve, and not in the in the stride. So perhaps I have put this one in here, but I have to put it here. So I have to put it up. You understand? And to take a good the eye, to, to have an eye for these details, is actually what is important in macrame. When you do macrame at home, you are alone. No one is making, making it all perfect for you. You have to see these things. So I think that I made a mistake to put it here. I'm going to put it up, have it more like that, and then you see that this will disappear. There is a curve here. Very, 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 very very visible. Take a good look. If I put it like this, you see? You see it here? If I follow those, take a good look. This, this should be striped. Now see, see there. There is a huge defect there. It's very huge. I mean, if we look at it like this, and if we put it, no one will see it. That is why I am I am very 
proud of these videos that I am presenting. These videos is the real macrame thing. If you want to learn macrame thing, you have to to think how to learn. I'm sorry, <laughs> to learn how to think and to learn how to see the defects. You see, this defect it has two: one here and one here. Now, if I put it like this and I say, "Oh, it's perfect, it's beautiful," no one will see it, right? So I have to undo this till here and then I will come in the next video. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. And I hope that you are really taking awareness of what is in, in, in stake at macrame. There are small details and we have to, to be a lot with experience to see them. If not, we don't see anything. Thank you.